Hi there, welcome to Peter Gorton at Home. And today I have teamed up with the guys at Fish is the Dish and their See For Yourself campaign, which is all about promoting fish and shellfish in our local waters. Very lucky today because I've been supplied with some wonderful fish from Trident Fresh Fish Online. And the dish that I'm going to show you today, a really quick and easy dish, is using lemon sole. So, first things first, we need to make is a little topping on top of the fish. Now what I've got in here, and if you come in closer, come and have a look, and I will tell you, I have got some natural yogurt, I have got a little bit of mayonnaise, I have got some lime zest, and I have got some wasabi paste. Now you can put as much or as little in as you like, it's entirely up to you. All I'm going to do is I'm going to mix that together. So mix it really well and you're binding it all together so it's all nice and smooth. Now I'm not putting any salt and pepper on this fish because the, all these flavours, you're just adding too much to it and I want it to be nice and healthy. And remember, fresh fish is so good for you. We should be eating more fresh fish really. Okay, a little bit of soy sauce in there as well, maybe about one tablespoon. And then mix again really well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of that on top of the fish. So if you come down and have a look again, I'm just putting a tiny bit and smoothing that across the top. Look, really so easy, honestly, to make, but really, really delicious to eat. And that's the most important thing. But the fresh fish shines through. Now, lemon sole is a lovely, delicate fish. It's actually one of my favourite fishes. There we go. A little bit of that on top, and now that is going to go in the oven in a minute. And I'll do that for you. Push it to the side. Good chef is a tidy chef. In the oven, 180 degrees for about four to five minutes. Obviously check the fish, if it's thicker, it might need a little bit more time. Right, I'm gonna sit the fish on a salad. So what I've done here is I've got some cooked couscous. If you have a look at that, to that, I have got some nice little bits of salad here. If you come in and I'll show you this, I'll just take off my cling felt. There we are. Now, come on in there and I'll point to what we got. We have got some spring onions. We have got some cherry tomatoes. I've got a little bit of ginger. I've got some cucumber. I've got some coriander and I've got some roasted pepper. Now you can put whatever you like in. What I'm showing you is just really a suggestion. All of that, goes in with your cooked couscous, like so, and mix it well. Mix really well. Now at this stage is when you need to check your food. So I'm just gonna come back down, I'm gonna show you that, look at all that lovely colors, and it will work really well with that delicate lemon sole. So a little bit of a taste. Mmm, delicious. Now to that, I am going to add a little bit of soy, just a touch, and a squeeze of lime juice. Over the top. Half a lime is enough for that. And then mix well. I'm going to leave that on the side. And now I'm going to show you something else in a minute that I like. Now, this next bit I'm going to show you is a sprinkle. Now this sprinkle I like to use a lot with salads. I also use it on top of meat and fish, and it goes really well. Now this is called a fury cake. Now fury cake is a Japanese type of uh, sprinkle, really. It can be used on sushi and various other things. So, come here, I'll show you the ingredients for this one as well. Come on down. Right, what we have is we have some nori sheets here. And this has been toasted, and um, I'll just bring this one into shot to show you. And you can see this, I've put this in the oven so it goes nice and hard. So when you break it up, it'll just fall apart like that. Now to make this, I have got some toasted sesame seeds. I've got black sesame seeds and obviously other sesame seeds. And I'm just gonna pour those in there like that. Then I'm gonna put a touch of sugar in. You don't want too much sugar. It's just that little hint. And then I like a little bit of heat. So I've got some chili, 
in there some chili flakes, dried chili flakes. And the reason why we're using dried chili flakes is because then this will keep for quite a while. You don't have to, um, if you put fresh chili, obviously it'll go a bit soggy, so we don't want that. And then look at that. That is absolutely lovely. And it works so well with any type of fish. Right, stir it in really well. And of course, it enhances the flavor of the fish because you're using the seaweed. All sea, all sea related. So let's stir that up. So for me, the biggest thing on fish is we really, really need to support our local fishermen, especially at this time where uh, it's a tough time for them. So please buy more fish if you can. Right, going back to this fish, while my other fish is cooking away, what you look for when you look for fresh fish? Press the skin like that, and if the indentation goes back in, it means the, fresh, the fish is fresh. If it's not, it would stay with a mark inside the skin. Give it a smell. Fresh fish should smell of the sea. It should not go for and stink. If it does, don't buy it. Luckily for you, if you go to, if you're buying from Trident Fresh Fish Online, then they're gonna give you immaculately fresh fish anyway. And I got this monkfish. Now, later on, I'm gonna show you a delicious dish with this monkfish. I'm actually gonna show you a monkfish with curry sauce, which would be delicious and pea pancakes. Let's push that one to the side, and I'm gonna check my fish now in the oven. They've been in the oven for about three to four minutes at the moment. They might need a little bit longer. I'll take them out just to show you. They just need another two minutes. That's been in for three minutes. While that's cooking, we are gonna plate up the dish. Put the plate in here. And I got plenty of time, because I'm waiting for them. Now don't be frightened when you go to your fishmonger to ask your fishmonger for what's in season. I always talk to my fish suppliers and I say, what's good, what's, what, what should I be buying now seasonally? What's the best price at the moment? And they're more than willing to help you as much as they can. Right, so let's plate up. A little bit of this couscous in the middle, like that. I'm just gonna put that through there. Now, fresh fish and shellfish is so easy to cook, especially when it's such good quality like this. And we are so lucky around Britain to have some of the best fish in the world. There we are, look, that's absolutely lovely. Right, there we are, put that on there. And now our fish should almost be ready. I'll check our fish in a second. Let's get my food cake. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil, because I like olive oil. You could use a vinegar if you want, it's up to you. I'm giving you some suggestions. That's it, this is gonna be a lovely, healthy dish. Let's take our, our fish, which is now cooked. You don't want to overcook it, you want to be really, really careful when you cook fish because it's delicate. Oh, look at that. Absolutely. It smells wonderful. And because I'm quite greedy, <laughs> I'm going to have three pieces. Now, last but not least is the grand finale, the sprinkling. And I want you to come down and look at this for this sprinkling. And you can see, look at that. That is going to taste absolutely wonderful. Be generous with the sprinkles. Right, and I'll pick that up and I'll tell you. So there you have it. You have lemon sole baked in the oven with a wasabi yogurt topping with sprinkles of fury cake and lovely couscous underneath. So. Check out Fish is the Dish campaign. Go online and check them out. In the meantime, stay safe and happy cooking.